Hey guys, what's up? It's Nico here, and in this video, we are going to finish this Mandalorian helmet. Bang! Hey guys, what's up? So, what we're going to do is we're going to do a start to finish build of the Mandalorian helmet. Um, this one is scaled perfectly to my tiny little head. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys what I would do to finish this to give it that nice uh, nice finish on the surface. So what I do for this now, I know I used to use fiberglass resin, is I use this thing called Fine Finish. I, you can get this from uh, Prop Monkey Studio. Um, I got mine at TNT Cosplay Supply. Um, I forgot how much one is because I haven't really been using it. But this thing is the best. It works on, on both um, hard surfaces as well as flexible filament. So if it has a little bit of flex and a little bit of give and you're trying to smooth it out, this right here is all you need. It's the one stop thing. No more fiberglass resin, no more stinky, whatever. Anyway, so we're going to use this and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm going to put the camera this way. All right, so to use fine finish, all you need truly do, right, is we're going to shake it up a little bit and you're just going to take um, the good, th here's the best part about fine finish. You don't need to use, um, you're not going to throw away your brushes anymore because you can clean this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and brush it on. That's it. Um, and then this should dry in about, it says it fully cures in about 24 hours and can be wet sanded in about 24 hours but it's sandable after 30 minutes so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush and apply it to the print all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half you know what I don't need to do half you guys if you guys want to see my video on, on fine finish um, it's in the description it's in my channel somewhere so all I'm going to do is apply this throughout the entire piece and this thing is super, super easy to sand, you guys. Super easy. Um, I'm going to be using a, uh, a sanding sponge. These are going. These are going to do great on this. And you don't need uh, a super light, uh, a super um, heavy grit on this, like the like the 60 grit or, or the 80s. You can use a. Um, you can go straight to the 120 or the 200 on this, and it'll smooth it out. It'll smooth it out great. So this thing is print, printed in a 0.2 millimeter layer height finish. Um, it makes finishing this entire thing that much easier. And so, yeah, that will, that I'm looking at it, this color might be pretty good, man. <laughs> so let me um, coat this entire thing. And then I'm gonna show you guys um, what it looks like after I sand it. Oh, before I see this, you can just wash it with water and you can save your brushes. So I know it saves you a ton of money on that for the brushes. All right, so um, it's been about a day or so. Um, and now we're gonna sand this. Um, this is probably gonna need another coat after I sand it. So all I'm gonna use is this um, a 120 medium grit um, sanding sponge. And then I'm gonna show you guys, it's super easy to sand. Let me bring you guys around. All right, so it's super easy to sand, you guys. Um, it's far easier than um, fiberglass resin. So all I'm gonna do is sand this down, um, and then probably do another coat because up here, where it flattens out a little bit, um, it needs more, more love right there. So just this part is gonna need more, um, but the rest of of the um, uh the helmet doesn't need it so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then after this we're gonna prime it and then we're gonna put the visor in all right so we've sanded it down what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add another uh, coat right up on top right here um just to cover the rest of these ridges right on top as well as some of this other parts so um after that we're gonna do a fine sanding on it and then we're done all right, so we put the second coat of the fine finish on this Mando helmet. Um, so now I'm gonna sand it again. I'm gonna take the, uh, 
the 120 again, um, or the sanding sponge, whichever one. And we're just gonna go around the entire thing again and we're gonna smooth it out with another finer sandpaper. And um, that should be it. I think this top piece is gonna need actually some um, glaze and spot putty because it's a lot thicker, uh, it's a lot deeper, the grooves are, um, and the fine finish just can't get into it. But um, let me sand this and then I'll show you guys what it looks like and then we're gonna do some other stuff to this to make it all nice and pretty. All right, um, so I know I skipped a whole bunch of stuff. It's already painted and got the visor and everything. Um, but I, I, I primed it, I, I painted it, I sanded it, everything's good. Um, I used a flat iron stay there. Um, this Rust-Oleum uh, soft flat, uh, flat soft iron. I got this one at Lowe's. Um, that's the paint that I used. And for the visor, I just used a, um, it's a welder's replacement face shield. Um, I got it off of Cyberweld, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that's the name of the website. And it, it, it was like $5. Super cheap. Um, but what I did was, because the cheeks indent, um, you're going to want to cut it in a T-shape. Um, it's plastic anyway, so it's not going to be bad um, to cut. You just got to have to you know, line it, line it, line it, line it, and it'll eventually come off. Um, but yeah, you got to cut it in a T so that it'll be flush to the shape of this right here okay and that's it uh as you guys very well know i'm not a big star wars guy but i watched the mandalorian fell in love with the show i love the tone that they're using um and so yeah i i made the helmet and and, and i love it absolutely absolutely love it so the link to the file is in the description below and i will see you guys next time before i forget you guys um we started a forum called the 3D Printing Forum. Um, this is where we can all hang out, um, post makes like the Mandalorian helmet, right? Figures and whatnot. Um, it just makes everything easier, right? I, I know I'm part of like a whole bunch of Facebook groups and I just, it, it fills up my feed and, and I would like a place where it's all centralized. So um, we created this forum, um, I tested it, I, I got some feedback and the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive so um, if you guys want please please join post your questions post your makes post anything 3d printed related in that forum um, and let's make it a good one Let, let's have discussions and I'll, let's all hang out there all right so again the name of the, the website is the 3d printing forum.com super easy to remember and i'll see you guys there and i'll catch you guys later peace